Have you ever finished a meal feeling so full that you fear any additional movement could make you explode? Or worse yet, have you experienced that annoying burning sensation in your chest that seems to rise to your throat? You're not alone. The symptoms of gastritis and gastroesophageal reflux are common, but the way we choose to relieve them may not always be the best. Let's reflect on a common and possibly harmful habit that many adopt when faced with these uncomfortable symptoms. The use of proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, such as omeprazole. There is a miraculous fruit that if consumed daily, will incredibly improve all these symptoms. And I let you know right now that you will not believe me. And it will seem extremely strange to you when I reveal it. But before this, it is essential to make yourself aware of the inappropriate use of omeprazole esomprazole and similar medications that end in prazole. It can be extremely dangerous and harmful to your health if you consume them whenever you have stomach discomfort or pain. When we talk about managing stomach disorders, such as heartburn and reflux, it is essential to understand the role that the stomach's natural acidic environment plays. This environment is not only crucial for the proper digestion of food, but is also essential for protection against pathogenic microorganisms and for the synthesis of various components necessary for gastrointestinal health. This is where long-term excessive use of proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, such as omeprazole, comes into play and can significantly upset this delicate balance. PPIs are designed to reduce acid production in the stomach, which may appear beneficial in relieving heartburn and reflux symptoms. However, this effect has a dark side. By decreasing stomach acid, these medications affect the protective barrier that acid provides. Normally, gastric acid not only helps break down food, but is also part of the primary defense against infection and stimulates the production of a mucus layer that protects the walls of the stomach. When this acid is suppressed for a long time, the stomach loses part of its ability to protect itself. This lack of acid can lead to a decrease in the production of the protective gastric mucosa. Without this mucosa, the stomach lining becomes more susceptible to irritation and erosion which can increase the risk of developing gastritis and peptic ulcers. Additionally, a less acidic environment in the stomach can allow bacteria and other pathogenic microorganisms to proliferate. A relevant study published in Gastroenterology suggests that patients who use long-term PPIs have an increased risk of developing infections such as gastritis due to Helicobacter pylori, a bacteria that is directly involved in the development of gastric and duodenal ulcers, as well as in some types of gastric cancer. Continued unsupervised use of PPIs is also linked to alterations in nutrient absorption, which may indirectly contribute to other health problems. For example, reduced stomach acid can interfere with the absorption of certain minerals and vitamins, such as calcium and vitamin B12, essential for bone and neurological health, respectively. I don't want to demonize these medications in this video. They are very good for the specific treatment of gastrointestinal diseases but only if they are sent by the gastroenterologist or internist and according to their recommendations. Never and under no circumstances should you be visiting the pharmacy frequently to purchase omprazole if your doctor has not indicated it to you. You are gambling with your health in the long term. Have you heard of lemon to combat stomach pain? Today we'll explore whether there really is any truth to lemon's power to maintain a healthy pH in the stomach and debunk myths that suggest otherwise. Stay until the end to understand this phenomenon and why you should think twice before using over-the-counter proton pump inhibitors. Lemon, often seen simply as a tart citrus fruit, has been the subject of numerous debates in the field of digestive health. At first glance, it might seem counterproductive to use something as acidic as lemon to treat conditions that are associated with excess acidity in the stomach. This common perception leads many to dismiss its potential benefits, especially when it comes to problems like gastritis or acid reflux. However, today we will delve into how this vibrant tart fruit plays a much more complex and beneficial role than one might initially think. The prevailing belief is that lemon, due to its inherent acidity, can exacerbate the symptoms of gastritis and other acidity-related digestive disorders. However, this view does not take into account the metabolic effect of lemon once ingested. Although lemon juice is acidic to the palate, its final effect on the stomach is alkalizing. The acidic components of lemon are broken down during digestion and the minerals it contains can help neutralize stomach acid. This suggests that lemon may, in fact, contribute to a healthier stomach pH balance, not harm it. In addition to its impact on stomach pH, lemon has antibacterial properties that can be useful against pathogens that frequently colonize the gastrointestinal tract, such as Helicobacter pylori. This bacteria is known to cause gastritis and ulcers, 
The citric acid in lemon can help inhibit the growth of H. pylori, thus offering a double benefit, pH regulation and antibacterial protection, without the risks associated with prolonged use of medications such as PPIs. While the benefits of lemon are clear in terms of pH balance and antibacterial properties, it is crucial to recognize that not all stomachs react the same way. For some people, especially those with citrus sensitivity or existing stomach lesions, lemon juice may initially irritate the gastric mucosa. This effect varies widely between individuals and depends on factors such as the underlying condition of the stomach and the amount of lemon consumed. I know it's hard to believe, so I'm going to explain scientifically why lemon works for this purpose. Number 1. When we consume lemon juice, its citric acid comes into play in a context that might initially seem harmful to the stomach due to its acidic nature. However, the metabolic process that is triggered is fascinating and beneficial. When lemon is eaten, the citric acid it contains stimulates the stomach cells to release more gastric acid. This process, known as the gastric response, is crucial for the efficient digestion of food. Gastric acid secretion facilitates the breakdown of proteins, and the absorption of certain minerals and vitamins, which is essential for overall nutrition. Although this stimulation of gastric acid may seem like it would only increase stomach acidity, it is important to remember that the human body is uniquely equipped with self-regulatory mechanisms. The moderate acid secretion induced by lemon is typically followed by the conversion of its acidic components into alkaline byproducts during the digestive process. This not only helps neutralize excess acid, but also keeps stomach pH in an optimal range. During digestion, this citric acid is not only broken down, but transformed. Through complex chemical reactions in the digestive tract, it is converted into alkaline compounds. These alkaline compounds in turn can help moderate stomach pH, moving it toward a more neutral and less acidic state. The word alkaline refers to the opposite of acid. That is, something that is not acidic is alkaline. Number two. Stomach pH balance is more than just a measure of acidity. It is central to vital functions of the stomach. An optimally acidic pH, which generally ranges from 1.5 to 3.5, is crucial to efficiently break down food and to activate the digestive enzymes necessary in this process. Furthermore, this acidic environment plays a crucial role in defending against pathogenic microorganisms that enter the digestive system through food. However, when this environment leans toward excessive acidity, it is not uncommon to experience bothersome symptoms of heartburn and gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, a condition in which stomach acids back up into the esophagus, causing irritation and pain. This is where the role of lemon becomes critical. Scientific studies support this notion. A particular study, published in the Journal of Environmental and Public Health, shows that regular consumption of foods with alkaline properties, such as lemon, helps counteract excess acidity in the stomach. This alkalizing effect can be a life raft for those suffering from chronic heartburn and GERD, providing a natural method of managing their condition without constantly resorting to medications such as proton pump inhibitors, which could have undesirable side effects in the long term. And now that you know the benefits of lemon, and you know that you should avoid omeprazole chronically, what is the best way to eat lemon to heal your stomach? Below I provide you with a detailed guide on how to incorporate lemon into your diet to take advantage of these benefits as well as explanations on why and how it works. Step 1. Preparation of the lemon. What do you need? One fresh lemon, purified water, a knife or juicer, a glass. Preparation. Wash the lemon with water to remove any residue or external contaminants. Cut the lemon in half. You can store the other half in the refrigerator for later use. Squeeze the juice of one half of the lemon into a glass. If you prefer, you can use a juicer to extract the juice more efficiently and avoid the seeds. Step 2. Dilution of lemon juice. Instructions. Add 200 to 250 ml about a cup of warm or room temperature water to the lemon juice. Step 3. Consumption. When and how to consume. Drink the diluted lemon juice mixture in the morning, preferably on an empty stomach. Consuming it on an empty stomach can help prepare the stomach for digestion and optimize gastric acid production for the day. Do not consume food or drinks for at least 20-30 minutes after drinking the lemon juice, allowing the stomach to process the liquid properly. Step 4. Frequency. Recommendations. Start this practice once a day and see how your body responds. If you experience any discomfort, adjust the amount of lemon or frequency as necessary. Additional considerations. Make sure the lemon is fresh to maximize the benefits of its natural compounds. The importance of diluting lemon juice in water. Diluting lemon juice in water before consuming it 
is a crucial step for those looking to reap the benefits of lemon for stomach health without causing irritation. Here we detail the scientific and practical reasons behind this recommendation. Reduction of acid concentration. Pure lemon juice is highly acidic, with an approximate pH of 2 to 3. This acidity can be beneficial in stimulating gastric secretion in the stomach, but it also has the potential to irritate the walls of the esophagus and stomach if consumed without dilute, especially in people with a sensitive stomach or pre-existing conditions such as gastritis or ulcers. Diluting lemon juice with water reduces the concentration of citric acid, making the solution less aggressive and easier for the digestive system to handle. This allows the benefits of lemon to be harnessed without exacerbating or causing irritation to the sensitive tissues of the gastrointestinal tract. Improved Biological Interaction Upon reaching the stomach, a dilute solution of lemon juice mixed with water interacts more gently with gastric acid, which can help maintain a more stable pH balance without sudden acid overload. Hydration Promotion Consuming lemon juice diluted in water also contributes to general hydration of the body, a fundamental aspect for good digestive and general health. Water is essential for many bodily functions, including digestion. By starting the day with a glass of lemon water, you are not only adjusting stomach pH, but also supporting the body hydration necessary to initiate the day's metabolic and digestive processes. Softens liquid intake. The act of diluting lemon in water makes the drink more palatable and easier to consume. The acidic and strong taste of pure lemon can be unpleasant and even difficult to swallow for some. Diluting it softens the flavor, making the experience more enjoyable and increasing the likelihood that this practice will become a long-term sustainable habit. You may be doing intermittent fasting, and we often get this question in the comments. Would consuming lemon in this way break my fast? The answer may depend on your specific goals with fasting and how your body responds to different stimuli. Here we break down some key aspects. Caloric impact. The juice of half a lemon has about six calories. When diluted in water, these calories are minimal in a large glass. From a caloric perspective, this minimal amount of calories is unlikely to significantly break your fast or affect the metabolic processes that fasting is intended to induce, such as autophagy or improved insulin sensitivity. Effects on insulin. One of the benefits of intermittent fasting is improved insulin sensitivity and reduced blood insulin levels. Digestive and hydration benefits. If you decide to include lemon water during your fasting period, you could benefit from its digestive and hydration properties without significantly compromising your fasting goals.